Happy Friday everyone, it's Pam Kinneberg here with facepaint.com with another Friday tutorial and today we're going to do a dirt bike. So first we're going to start off by using the Craze Overflow Dome Cake and I'm going to load that onto a sponge. I'm just bending it and loading it on the straight edge of the back side so it's kind of right in the middle of that uh, of the sponge like you see here and I'm going to take the um, graffiti stencil pack by Leoselli and um, use it in multiple ways to get some color behind our bike. You can use these little paint drips sort of as an explosion of color as if he's splashing through green and blue mud on his dirt bike. So I'm just making it sort of in a roundish um, shape where the dirt bike is going to go, keeping the blue on the outer edges of my splashes. And just kind of filling in that middle section, blending it in. I'm going to add these stars to a couple places. You're basically just putting some kind of graffiti, um, some shapes and colors in the background to make it exciting and kind of an explosion. On this uh, part of the stencil, the stencil has three, three stencils in it, the pack does, and this is a second one in the pack with halftone dots. So now it's ready for my bike. I'm going to use the Craze Round Brush and I am starting with the helmet. I know um, that I want the helmet about right here. It's a good place to start. And then going down with the body. I'm not making a realistic figure here. It's just a silhouette of a very simple um, person on a dirt bike. So just using some really basic shapes to form that body. And then um, the bike um, I have going here. I'm making the big wheel larger than the smaller wheel in the back. Putting in the legs and the foot and the, the rest or the seat that he is sitting on. Giving him a handlebar. Keep it very simple. This design is super, super fast. Boys love it. And um, nothing realistic here. Just a, uh, a, a kind of a slight likeness to what a, a little boy would be like sitting on this dirt bike. So don't stress about it. I'm adding some teardrops in. All of these teardrops are headed toward the focal point, which is in the center of the face. So if you were to continue them around, um, because they're going in a directional movement, they would end up at that focal point. I'm just doing some crossovers here to give it some dynamic lines in this dirt bike painting. Putting some at the top, some at the bottom, and crisscrossing them there. Just all of these lines are pointing towards that center focal point. And the dots also go in that direction. Adding some dots and highlights with white that brings a lot into this black silhouette of our driver here. Some helmet lines. Keep these wispy and white as if we were moving towards, or as if this dirt bike was moving really fast. Just some dots in there. And I put a few white teardrops in there too to give it some contrast. And lastly, we're gonna add some glitter. It's the Sea of Glass Gleam Gr Glitter Cream from Vivid. I love this glitter. It's probably my favorite one. And just giving it some life and shine with this glitter. You can call it the, the superpower glitter for this motocross bike. Happy painting everyone!